Before we get started with today's video, I want to first say, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and thanks to everyone that has. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, peoples. Whichever time that you are watching this at the moment. Welcome to Modified and CD, and thank you for joining us again on another adventure. We're getting ready to get this thing started and kind of like poke through the holidays of some of the things that we did during this quarantine season. Hope y'all enjoy. Welcome to Oklahoma. Broken Bow, to be specific. We have decided to rent a cabin for the holidays and um, never been to Oklahoma. And it's interesting because this is a whole cabin lodge area uh, with just different various two sleepers, four sleepers, up to 10 sleepers, cabins. Um, we'll show you a little bit of this cabin area here. We brought the dogs, we got the whole family. So it wasn't like one of those little trips that we had to last minute find somebody oh I don't know what they're doing somebody help me please anyway this cabin is beautiful this cabin is amazing get ready to give you a, a full in-depth tour um, stay tuned Broken Bow Oklahoma all right let's go in shall we pour it in Sonny come on all right we have Entered into the main facility of this cabin. She ready? Yes. <laughs> anyway, this is living room area. Um, I, I think this is enough space for for a family of four, even a family of five if you want somebody to sleep on the couch. But of course, we're here during the holidays and have a Christmas tree up. Um, I love it. It's it's a gas fireplace. TV in here. Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's quaint. It's small. It's nice. It's set up. The dining room area is set up great. There's a small little sitting area here. Out back in the patio. And the coolest thing about this is there is like an ensuite loft area. So the master bed is downstairs. You can have the kids or whoever else is with you upstairs. The loft area. It is one bathroom, but this completely separates the space from it just being all one level. And of course, this is the upstairs loft area. Little little section for you to put your clothes and towels and stuff. And then a bed. It's like packed right into the wall, right where it needs to be. So we'll travel back downstairs to the main bathroom. <laughs> Boom. Check out this bathroom. Sorry. No, stop, DJ. Look at this. And the master bedroom. Which leads out to the balcony again. Did he, oh, he got all the way in it. apologize for the wind blowing so hard but that's a, a, a short tour of our sweet home Alabama cabin out here in Oklahoma and Broken Bow Oklahoma come here Sunny Gordon sorry so, guys we're running beside each other so anyway the good part about it is you can bring your pets um, most of these cottages out here that you can rent um, allow you to bring pets um, yeah. which is great I was looking for just a small cabin out this area. I decided to, to come here because they had the most cabins available that allowed you to bring pets. So I don't know 
um, that's my thoughts on it. I, I, I really like this place. Um, I think once this whole COVID situation is over with, it'll be good to get some friends, maybe some family together and get an even bigger one that they have out here. Um, but I like it. I don't, I don't know what Dave's thoughts are. Definitely love it. Um, you're isol You're not too isolated because your cabin's like right, not too far from each other, but everybody's in their own little space. Um, it's quiet. Um, it, 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 even if there's a time just for you and the family <clears throat> to get away from the city, this will be the place to come. Just get quiet amongst yourselves and <clears throat> enjoy each other's company as a family. Yeah, this is nice. truly a spot to come to. Um, very relaxing. Give you some guys time to be with each other. Meditate a little bit if you have to, but it's definitely enjoyable. Um, and the scenery, I can't I can't explain it. There's nothing like nature though. There's nothing like nature. And it's always so good just to get away and enjoy nature because sometimes we just take that for granted. Because we're so busy doing other things in life and just not sitting back and just enjoying what's here. All right, the wind's blowing. That means it's time to put the camera down. Talk to you guys soon. So there pretty much you have the cabin. Um, like I said, it was a great little getaway for us. Um, I will have the link to the actual Airbnb down below. Um, please make sure you check that out. Uh, this entire area is great, but I will tell you the service and uh, just communication alone uh, with this Airbnb host was amazing. I mean, not really to talk about it, but we got in super early as you saw in the other video and there seemed to have been a situation with the lock on the door and I messaged the lady. I mean, you know, it was like 420 in the morning and she responded back quickly and we had it resolved by next, you know, couple hours or so. I also want to take the time out to just thank everyone who has supported this channel thus far. Uh, we have set up a Patreon page for those who want to help support even further the content creation that we have. I have subscriptions starting all the way at $3 that will help fuel the fire and also give you some insight and chat uh, availability with us to let us know what you would like to see us review in the coming future. Someone told me that she's the comical one of the group. No, I am not. And that she makes the video. So I just wanted to have a pause section and she just starts laughing because that's what she does. No, no, no. But I got to tell y'all this, though. We went to this restaurant, right? <laughs> in Oklahoma City called, what was it called? Steak? No, no, it was called Shady Oaks. I knew from the name that it was kind of shady. But, you know, why not take a chance and give somebody else? You know, you never know. Any hoot. Went inside the restaurant. I mean, they had these huge pancakes. And we'll show y'all this in the video, too. I mean, they were huge. So I'm like, oh, my God, you know. You know, <laughs> so I'm all excited. I'm like, okay, the food's going to be really good. So we walk in, but what really got me is that here in Oklahoma City, which is only six, uh, six and a half hours away from Texas, yep, they're not required to wear masks. So it's it's certain cities that are, you know, you can you can mandate if you want to. I find it funny because the governor was just recovering from COVID nineteen. <laughs> But yet he refuses to make Oklahoma pretty much their city's mandate yeah. mask. So we're in Broken Bow and um, it's not mandatory here. No. And you see so many people within stores without their mask. And um, to be honest, it, it's almost quite unnormal seeing people without masks now, seeing yeah. that we've had so many people with masks on. And I went to go walk into the restaurant before we got out and I didn't have my mask on. I walked in. And I turned around and came right back out and got my mask. And when I walked back in, I realized the waitress didn't even have one on. And that's because it's not mask mandated. However. However, guys, now that he told his story, I have to finish this story. So anyway, I get this fried steak, right? Scrambled eggs. And what else was it, baby? Friday scrambled eggs. So anyway, the meal was, yeah, it, it was, was great. Just so a breakfast plate. Yes, the breakfast platter. So I'm eating and he's eating and the kids get their plate. I'm like, OMG, there's hair in my food. I'm like, oh, you know, let's throw a little hot sauce on it. Maybe it'll go away. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 wait, no, no. Wait, before y'all, before y'all... <laughs> hear that and then go all left like yeah she no, just refused no, no. that and didn't see that hair 
she put hot sauce on it because it didn't have any taste. No, guys, it did not and have any taste. As she started eating through it, she found the hair towards the yeah. bottom of the plate. And I'm like, did I literally get through half of this meal with a long piece of hair at the bottom, right? So I'm like, mmm. So I push the food aside, and then all of a sudden, our baby Elijah's like, eating his food and there was a piece of hair on his french fries strike two. Oh, shady i'm so sorry shady oaks uh, uh the the hostess slash waitress had a pleasant attitude enjoyed the spot she and is. i think she was more embarrassed that we found that because yeah. as i was getting ready to leave strike three there was a piece of hair on my toast by my <laughs> sausage well Overall, if it wasn't for her customer service at the restaurant, I think I would have really been disappointed. She would have cut up. I probably would have, but, but, but I know how to keep it as a lady, and I do do respectfully. I'm very polite in public, so I wouldn't have cut up that bad. But her customer service was so on point. Say she, you want to drive? I can drive. Okay. She didn't charge us for the meal, but we were charged for, you know, everybody else that did eat partially their meal but it's okay it's okay we paid we left <laughs> and then alex didn't even try to finish his food because all three of us found hair so he's like no nah, nah, that's all right <laughs> <laughs> just stop out here wrecking shop i told him he get a dollar for every uno gave me one he won two in a row so i quit <laughs> <laughs> i quit <laughs> we went and play sorry <laughs> now it's time to eat and uh relax in this hot tub again i guess sunny I'm trying to come out through the bedroom the baby here trying to create a whole vibe <laughs> no, on TikTok and Instagram and had to get some troubleshooting happening with, the, <laughs> no. with her accessibility. <laughs> yes, keep your face like that. It is starting to rain out here. You can hear it though. Pretty, pretty decent. Looking like the Grinch. 